Or something, I forget. Alice. Lisa. So I, uh, I had, I leave the, the shop, because it's pointless, they don't have anything for me. So, and I do, I guess, if I do a streetwise check, it would be pretty much what Ian sees, I guess. Uh, yeah. Alright. Um, I guess I head towards the palace. Alright. <laughs> uh, do you need to make a streetwise check to figure out how to get there? Alright, I'll do a, a streetwise check then. D20? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Always the 20. Always the 20. And then add, add your streetwise bonus. Mm -hmm. A 20. <laughs> <laughs> a nat 20? Yeah. Um, you learn everything Blue did, and you also know... Uh, just from hearing rumors uh, from people, um, you know that uh, there are strange goings on with the masked lords. That uh, this crime might be fairly close to becoming uh, public uh, very soon. And uh, you also learn a couple of hidden passage. Learn of a, hid a couple of hidden passageways, rumored hidden passageways throughout the city. Oh damn! It almost sounds like there's a foreshadowing going on here. All right, can I communicate with my whole entire, the whole group telepathically? You have to be within five uh, squares, then, which is about fifty feet. So if you head near the tavern, then yes, you will. Be. And you know where the tavern is. You know where everything is because you rolled mm -hmm. a nat twenty. So you know where All the right. tavern is. So if you roll with, if you get within uh, five. Uh, 50 feet of it, then you can talk to him. Okay, I'll uh, actually head to the tavern. Alright. And I sit near the bartender and uh, I ask him for whatever the strongest drink he's got is. <coughs> Everybody's having a drink, and I'm just he, sitting at this uh, he looks, table. <laughs> he looks over at you. They're slightly befuddled. <laughs> he looks over you and says, Are you sure about that? What's that? Are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah. Dwarven ale is not for the weak of stomach. <laughs> I got to. <laughs> 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 okay. He gives you... He pulls out this amber-colored uh, bottle and pours a glass and hands what you What the one. hell is this? <laughs> He's just dwarven ale. Swill. <laughs> All right, I uh, I uh, drink it. <laughs> drink it all down and make. Once. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're you're gonna be making it. make an endurance <laughs> save. Roll d twenty. All right, here goes nothing. What? Just tell me what the straight number is. Oh boy, what's the d twenty? Five. <laughs> <laughs> you take one swig and pass out. <laughs> what a lightweight. <laughs> oh well. I tried. You can't say oh well, you tried. You the bartender <laughs> remarks, I warned him. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Oh, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. All our taverns breaking shit. <laughs> so it's Aaron's turn again, isn't it? Unless, uh, uh actually, unless uh, anybody has something spectacular that they'd like to do on this next turn, uh, we'll actually be moving on. Uh, I have something spectacular I want to. Do. No. Actually, <laughs> that was something I was gonna do to be nice to the newbies. I, I don't trust you. Nice. <laughs> I don't trust anyone here, actually. <laughs> I tried to be nice. I, would, I, I got something amazing. I would like to report uh, that vandalism to the <laughs> guards. <laughs> don't be an ass. 
<laughs> he I'm is a protector guy. of justice. He is. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm already running from guards. He's basically a cop. <laughs> yeah, please try being nice for a new bit. Okay, I know what I'm doing next turn. <laughs> Alright. Alright, what? Now I'm, now I'm gonna what, do you do, what are you gonna do? Uh, does anybody else have anything? I was gonna pay for the broken cable for Anubis. Alright. You might wanna resist. drag me out of the parta. How do you know about that, though? You just got to the tavern. I was I there the whole time. Him. Oh, no, he- oh, he, you just- <laughs> My guy was at the table, he broke, he's still sitting there, he's just like, what the <laughs> fuck? Set it all off for about five minutes. It's like, yeah, going it's kinda detailed, like... detailed mode here. He has the face that your picture has. <laughs> oh, oh God. Creed, what were you gonna do? I walk into the tavern and oh, notice the broken table with Simara with his awestruck gaze. I ask the bartender what in the world happened. Damn, Warforge came in and broke my table. <laughs> I, I get the feeling it was the robot again. Fucking robot. <laughs> You know what, sir? How much did that table cost? I'll c gladly pay for it. You wow. can pay for it easily. So Does this mean I won't get chased by guards? Because someone else <laughs> ponied up the money again! <laughs> this is two taverns you have caused vandalism to now. In two <laughs> sessions. You are two is for there two. Is a possibility he will be on the bounty board? Listen. I was not- I- all I did was slam my fist on the table. I wasn't expecting it to break. Yeah, right, what happened? The, running out. So the window- <laughs> the window was meant to be broken. The table was an X. Okay. You're a giant machine. It's a wooden table. Show some respect. He can't- he can't- he can't- he doesn't have a full grasp on this world yet, you know? Yeah. <laughs> just got here. Just got here for Creed, space. you said you were gonna do something. Well, it was only if the guards were chasing me. Oh, okay. I was gonna fly. So we'll move on. We will move on. Alright. Uh, the next day comes. Uh, Dario, do you have a hangover? Yes. <laughs> I would hope so if he passed out. You have a hangover. Is there a way to Jack? Uh, Dario, you have a hangover. You want me to, you want me to roll for it? I, uh, I mean, you roll for it? I rolled. Oh. You have a hangover. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> But we still gotta do what we gotta do. Uh, <laughs> Hangover from one drink. And, uh... And, and we're still hungry. Thanks thanks to Blue, Dario cannot concentrate. Because he has a hangover. <laughs> <laughs> thanks to Blue, uh, you guys make it to the palace easily. Uh, without, um, any complications. And, uh, thanks, in Blue. inside the entryway oh, to the palace... No problem. <laughs> and inside the entryway <laughs> to the palace, uh... You, uh, run into... A, uh, you run into Rurik, who's standing at the, uh, in the foyer. Uh, hold on, my thing signed me out for some reason. So this is, does this mean since I have a hangover that my perception check is, like, reduced in half or something crazy like that? You're taking a minus four to your perception. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, let's see. Alright, sorry, I'll uh, sit in my corner and make some water. <laughs> yeah, that'd be an idea. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Rurik, Rurik lets you know, uh, that he has a plan. But if any of you have an idea as to how you should go about figuring, figuring this out, which we only have, he also, uh, decides to mention to you guys, um, uh, I can only allow you in this palace maybe two or three times before the other lords start getting suspicious. <laughs> so you have to figure out who's, who the culprit is in that amount of time. So do any go, of you... Go. <laughs> do any of you have any ideas... So what are we doing, like, going, sneaking You're, into the palace or something? Uh, no, he's letting you in. <coughs> well, what do we do once we in, once we get in there? Uh, you're going to try and figure out 
Who what was that valuable information that I was given earlier? I forget. Damn it. Uh, secret, secret passageways around the city. Hmm. 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 Hey, just tell me what what are we doing? Once <laughs> you're looking for us, the. I think some of us should check out the hidden passages. We don't all need to stay in one group. Yeah, I was gonna ask. Split up. Can I take okay, to check out the passage in the palace. <laughs> Can Dario tell us about them right now? Uh, <laughs> it's been a, a bit since I last checked as far as in-game time goes, so... Hold on. After taking a drink of your water, which... <laughs> you decided to, uh, uh... throw in a little bit of, uh, radiant power into... Radiant. To help out, uh, you feel better. So yes, now Dario can help you. So <laughs> it's excellent, excellent. so the information that was given to me was just hidden passages around town that take you to. Uh, yeah, you power. know of you know of hidden passages that either intersect with the palace or lead to complete like uh, complete opposite sides of towns of the town. Dude, okay. I'm going to the palace in a secret. Right I've heard, I've heard of secret passages around town. That can possibly get us into the palace. Maybe we should split up and look around. Hmm. So how many splits are there? <laughs> All right, game. Let's split up. Robot, you go with the dog. Fuck no. <laughs> that sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. <laughs> Robot, wanna come with me then? I'm not shaggy. Shaggy? We'll go what do we do? <laughs> Let's have a break. I feel like we should split up. And not only that, but if there's secret passages leading to the palace, maybe the amount of times that we are let into the palace before people get suspicious can be lenient. I guess. Oh, I think we sp should split up strategically. Wait a sec. No, never mind, go ahead. <laughs> I had an idea and then it just crumbled. Because we don't have to sneak into the palace now, but since you said there's secret passages going other places... We, we should, should send in a scout. A sc no, Robert. I'm dead serious. If we send in, like, Jess, she's a pixie. Yeah, and Gauntlet's pretty good at stealth. No, leave the cat. No. But Dario oh, needs yeah. to go with whoever is going... Oh, that's true. I through think. the past passages so that he can kind of guide Show him. Them. Yeah. Hmm. Perhaps it'd be useful if I stayed here and see if I could smell anything else interesting in the palace. Uh. Little gear. <laughs> That's good thinking, Snake. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel, I have a plan. I am not a reptile. <laughs> Let's ask Rorik. Rorik, do you have any ideas? My plan for the first day was to have you stay inside the palace and listen. And observe. So, scouting. <laughs> so, I will be uh, sniffing around. Mingling with the guests, getting all the information you can tell. Introducing you to the different, to the different masked lords. Hopefully, one oh. of you will pick up on something. Hmm. I see, I guess I'll go with you oh, then. Oh, so what the I fuck's the point of hiding them. then? Let's just walk in. <laughs> exactly. I told I, I I said earlier he was letting you guys what in. Oh okay. I'm sorry. I, I misread the situation. You're I'm you're sorry. you're his guests. Okay. I misread that. I'm bad. Let's go. So we go in my turns now. Let's just go. Let's uh, just go. <laughs> uh, this will be this will be uh, a series of uh, skill tests. Um, basically, uh, you'll all be depending on who wants to take the test. Um, when presented, uh, will be able to uh, try. Uh, basically, it's kind of like a woven ladder. Uh, fails will send you one direction, and uh, successes will send you closer to your goal. Um, obviously, you want more successes. Um, if you get too many fails, then, well, we'll talk about that later. Someone's uh, going to die. <laughs> so it's not gonna be me this time. <laughs> so you you serve your time. 
okay, uh, continue. He introduces you as you uh, enter the grand foyer. Uh, foyer. The foyer. foyer. It's a foyer. Foyer. <laughs> foyer. 